Hi there, and welcome to today's practical planning tip by Park Bridge Wealth Management. My name is Jonathan Shankman. I'm the president and chief investment officer of the firm. And before I jump into today's planning tip, let's first discuss this wonderful cuckoo from Gourmet Glot in the Five Towns. I'll do a taste test, so just bear with me. Oh, wow. Look at that chocolate to dough ratio. Amazing. Wow. Mama's wow. Phenomenal chocolate to dough ratio. As I said, unbelievable freshness. And this is totally five town style. Anyway, after the planning tip, I'm going to share my score. I'm going to just jot it down real quick. Okay. Today, we're going to discuss or continue our discussion on the basics of financial planning using the bucket approach. We already discussed the short term bucket and the long term bucket. So now we're going to discuss the midterm bucket. So once the first two buckets are satisfied, some families may be in a position to explore the midterm bucket. Not everyone has the luxury of having extra cash after monthly bills and emergency fund and retirement savings. However, many of the clients that I work with will do will have a surplus cash flow and aren't sure how to best allocate those dollars to achieve their various other goals. The best solution is to invest these funds within a standard investment account, a taxable account. This account may be held individually, jointly, or within a trust. However, the common theme is that unlike a retirement account, there likely won't be any favorable tax treatment, so the money should be invested in a more tax-efficient manner. And I could go on and on at length discussing how to invest money efficiently within a taxable account, but that is a conversation for another time. The midterm account funds may be money you want to access before retirement, meaning before 59 and a half, which is the youngest age that you can dip into retirement funds without a penalty. It should also be funds that you don't anticipate needing within five years, so you can afford to take some risk to achieve higher returns. The key is structuring these investments based on your specific goals. Perhaps you want these funds to provide you the flexibility to work part-time 10 years before your full retirement. Some clients plan to buy a vacation home and are investing towards that goal. Others want to leave just a bigger nest egg to their beneficiaries. There are an infinite number of options for how to position this money based on one's objectives. The one universal strategy that I emphasize with my clients is to automate the money going into this account. This means determining how much money you want you can afford to contribute every month and having those funds automatically moved from your checking account to be invested in this account. This prevents emotional decisions from entering into the process or spending these funds frivolously on things you don't actually need. The amount you automatically deposit can always be modified, but it's important to get started today. And now what you've all been waiting for, the Gourmet Glock Cuckoo score, which is an astonishing 9.2 out of 10. Next time you're in the five towns, swing by Gourmet Glot and pick up a chocolate cuckoo. You will not be disappointed. And with that, I hope you found this practical planning tip helpful. Until next time, stay prudent, practical, and don't forget to plan ahead.